first told you about it at 5. The Wisconsin DOT wants your feedback on how to make state-owned roads and other properties more accessible. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark McPherson. And I'm Lee Mills. New this hour, we're hearing some of that feedback. It's ultimately to serve those who have diminished vision, hearing, or mobility. NBC 15's Michelle Beck joins us now. Yeah, Michelle, before we get to the feedback from one woman, tell us how everyone watching can actually take part in this. Yeah, well, today marks the start of a 30-day window for public comment online. WizDod wants to know any praises or concerns you have about accessibility on the roads. Martha Saravo swings her car door as wide as it can go. And this. While she needs the space to dismantle her wheelchair, she says some drivers just don't get it. I've had people literally park in that section to where I had to wait for them to come back out to their car. People park halfway over the line. But accountability for accessible parking stalls isn't the only accountability she's looking for. She's curious about how it works generally within the state. I'm always curious who is always sitting at these tables, who's having these discussions, and if they have someone that really identifies with the disability community. Is there someone who is a member of the disability community that's engaging in these conversations? So our, at this point, and you know, and this is very good feedback for us, um, our oversight committees are internal to WISDOT now because of the work that we're doing. Tondra Davis, who oversees WISDOT's ADA programs, says internally she's not sure if anyone belongs to the disability community. That's because staff don't have to disclose it. Looking forward, you are willing to have more of an external stakeholder group um, or committee. Just one point about accountability in the ongoing conversations about accessibility. So you can go online to wisconsindot.gov slash ADA. There you can submit your own comments, but also read past comments and even the state's responses to them. Live in the studio, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News.